Hi y'all, it's Kimberly from Sunshine Writing. I wanted to take this time to talk to you about Sunshine Writing and COVID-19. This is the first time I've done this and I have to say it does feel a bit weird. But I do want to tell you what is going on here at Sunshine in my own words. I know that many of you are concerned or just downright scared. I can appreciate that. There is so much information out there in Tallyland and on social media. We have the Prime Minister talking to us daily with all his experts. We have all our various houses of religion and our schools giving us information. We have our sports bodies and our governing councils giving us information. It's all really very overwhelming. I'm going to try to tell you what we're doing at Sunshine so that you can have confidence to keep doing something that is great for both your health and for your child. First, please note that Sunshine Writing has a stringent COVID-19 policy that has been in place since the 10th of March. We wash our hands between every lesson and use a Dettol dip to make sure that everything that can be killed is. We are wiping down the rains with antibacterial wipes after every lesson so that cross-contamination of bugs and viruses could be eliminated. We are wiping down all our communal services with a bleach water spray and using paper towels to dry them. We are limiting the number of people allowed into the office to four at a time to limit any possible cross-contamination. And we're also considering closing the office so that all check-ins and payments can be made at the Sunshine Tea Room so that we again limit any diseases being spread. If any member of staff is ill with any type of disease, they are to stay at home. Likewise, if you're unwell, please stay at home and keep it, let's keep everyone safe. I want to remind you that Sunshine is a very small business. We do not have large crowds. We are a boutique riding school at a Walmart price. I put this in place in 2014 that we would have no more than five riders in a lesson. I wanted to do this so that all Sunshine riders would be the best. We normally only have 16 people on site at any one time. As I said, this is intentional. We have a large open air area, 14 acres, so no one should be close or cramped. If you're on a horse or a pony, you shouldn't be closer than two meters, as horses do and will kick. This is not a restaurant or a classroom with close quarters. The only place that is, is the office, and we are taking measures to minimize the risk there. As a small business, we depend on you. I believe that everyone should have the right to experience the thrill of riding a horse. If we are not ordered closed by the government and you are not too scared to ride because of the coronavirus, then Sunshine will not shut. If Sunshine were to close, this would be a loss for everyone. You will lose out because your riding will suffer and we will have to go back over things that you know but have not perfected. The teachers will lose out because they'll have to be laid off. The horses will lose out because they will not be well trained or schooled because there's no staff to do it. It's heartbreaking all around. We are an open air facility and all that fresh air and sunshine will build and strengthen your immune system. This is why all the new home education plans I see on social media include at least two one-hour sessions of being outside. So come, be outside with the horses. It's good for you on so many levels. If you are working from home or otherwise, and the schools are closed and the kids are underfoot, then give us a call. We will be offering up to 10 places for stable days and stable mornings each day. These are supervised times of stable management, horse care, and riding lessons. I'll be posting more about this in the very near future, 
when we know exactly what is going on. In the meantime, I will be diligently going through all the information so I can make the best decisions for and about continued writing. We all need to pull together. There are places which need your patronage as much today as they did a month ago. So please use your corner shop, use your local takeaway, or your pub if they're doing takeaway. Please help your neighbor. Please don't hoard. Please don't spread the virus. But please spread the love. And most importantly, keep riding. Thanks. See you soon.